go, what's up guys, and welcome back to my semi-final match of the Smogon Premier League 7 versus Akari. I am of the Wi-Fi Wolf Pack. Akari is on the uh, Sharks. And actually, funny story, two years ago, which is the reason why I'm proud of that video uh, that went up before, the Wolf Pack played the Sharks in semi-finals, and we actually ended up losing uh, last time. And this time, we're actually down 2-5, if I remember correctly, um, before this battle was played. So... It's looking pretty bad if they get seven wins they win if we can manage to tie them at 6-6 six, six, or even beat them then we obviously make it to finals so I'm playing the UU tier once again this is a rematch versus Akari I played him a couple weeks ago where he actually hacks the crap out of me I missed gunk shot with my toxic hook versus whimsicott a lot of things uh, thunder wave went in his favor which I can't you know blame him for it's the game and it's the game we play but uh, we have a rematch going into the semifinals and I was really happy to play him because I wanted this rematch also because Akari has never lost in uh, playoffs in the last seven SBLs, if I'm not mistaken. He has like 100% win rate. So this time I'm using a Mega Bombasno team, which revolves around Scarf, Healing Wish, uh, Gardevoir, which actually puts in a lot of work versus team considering his fairy resist is non existent. Uh, unfortunately, you know, Slow King isn't 2A KO'd, Porygon isn't 2A KO'd, but everything else is pretty much 2A KO'd. But I decided to lead off with my Gardevoir just because it beats lead Sableye or lead Hydreigon. And I also get to find out what type of Hydreigon he is. If he's Scarf, he probably U turn, anything like that. So my game plan is pretty much uh, try and set up for the nasty plot Tox Grove Sweep by getting rid of uh, Sableye or even have my Obama Snow put in work because I am special Obama Snow or physical. So at least Kobali and Lee Gardevoir, I don't want to stay in. Uh, he's more than likely to go for Stealth Rock, but I don't want to take an Iron Head regardless if he decides to be a bit more aggressive. So go out to my Swamper as he gets up his Stealth Rock. Good play, good play. I'm going to get on my own rocks. I don't expect him to stay in. I can throw him with the Scalder Earthquake. He goes Sableye and I decide I really, really, really want to burn this thing. My Swamper doesn't have as much use in this game as it would have if he brought a fire type or something like that. Uh, seeing as how um, Kobalion is checked by my Nasty Plot Toxicroak, by Scarf Gardevoir, even DeBlade like smacks it around. So I decided to just throw off some Scalds right here. He burns me with the Will-O-Wisp. Um, just gonna throw off a couple more Scalds because I wanna burn him to put him in range of being like two KO'd by my Abomasnow's Blizzard, uh, no matter what. Or even a Blizzard plus Ice Shard will be able to deal with his uh, Sableye. So that's why I'm firing off a few Scalds right here. He goes for a knockoff and now he's just gonna go for recover. Best play all around, basically trying to get up to as good amount of HP or as high amount of H <laughs> as high amount of HP as possible. So goes for another recover, and now he's gonna go for the knockoff once again as I do get the uh, Scald Bird. Um, really nice right here because, like I said, it lets me wear down his Sableye with rocks with the burn. He doesn't have defog support on his team as well. So what I am gonna do. Um, I don't think he does anyway. What I'm going to do is go for the Roar because I'm trying to phase in something like Gyarados, you know, make it take that Stealth Rock damage. I actually phase him into Hydreigon, which I don't mind because it takes Stealth Rock and it's going to be taking the Life Orb, which I am revealed, um, which is revealed that he is a Life Orb variant. So I 100% know that my Gardevoir will be faster. I am Choice Scarf. I can just fire off a Moonblast. He doesn't have good switch-ins. I mean, he doesn't have good resistances, or if any. So fire off a Moonblast as he brings out his Porygon too. Now, this thing is threatening. I know it's going to want to Thunder Wave me and... Um, I definitely don't want a bomb still getting thunder wave because it threatens him so much. I don't want Toxico getting thunder wave because I can nasty plot up. I definitely don't want my Scarf Gardevoir getting thunder wave, and I probably don't want my Double getting thunder wave just because if I get rid of his Hydreigon and knock out Sableye, pretty much the blade sweeps him. So I decided to go out to Man the Buzz as he thunder waves me. Now I know I could take an Ice Beam. He's more than likely going to want to get off a recover right here. So I'm hoping my Man the Buzz doesn't have a repeat of what happened in the last game where it just got full parried down and wasn't able to do anything. So thankfully I am able to get rid of his Aviolite as what I'm going to do right now is just fire off a foul play just to gauge the damage. It's probably not going to do anything because he more than likely has zero attack IVs. But I just want to gauge the damage and pretty much force him on a turn uh, to recover. So I go for the uh, Roost right here as he goes for Ice Beam, which is great. I kind of expect him to go for another Ice Beam, to be honest. I'm uh, at full HP, and he can definitely take it. So what I'm going to do is go out to my Deblade right now on the Recover. He goes for Recover, and I was like, okay, let me just fire off some Sacred Swords. He doesn't have good switchings. His switchings include Hydreigon and Cobalion. <laughs> so I actually go for Iron Head right here just in case he decides to go Sableye first. Because I thought if Sableye came in with me being paralyzed... Um, and Sableye usually running Spadef in this tier just because Alakazam exists and things like that. Uh, I figured Iron Head would do about 50% with Burn, with Stealth Rock, maybe even more. So he goes for the Foul Play. I didn't know he had Foul Play as I fire off a Sacred Sword. He's going to recover right here, so I decided let me fire off another Sacred Sword, try to keep him as low as possible uh, to the point where I can actually switch out into my Abomasnow and threaten him with the um, Max Special Attack. 
either Blizzard or Focus Blast. So I ran out of Bomb Snow on his recover. I definitely didn't want it to get T-Waved. Had I got T-Waved there, I could have Ice Shard to pick him off, so it's not too big of a deal. And what I can do right now is Mega Evolve and go right for the Focus Blast. I went for Focus Blast over Blizzard, even though Blizzard might have been able to take him out with Hail. Um, especially because his Violet was gone, was because he's only switching to a Bomb Snow is Cobalion. So thankfully, my Focus Splash actually connects and Cobalion goes straight down. So Cobalion is gone. I'll definitely trade my Swampert for his Cobalion as I only needed it for that. He goes Sableye. I don't want my Bomb Snow to be burnt just yet, simply because I have Ice Shard, which can help me get rid of the Hydreigon. It's actually a roll on Hydreigon to do about half. So uh, I go out to my Gardevoir on the Will-O-Wisp. Now his only switching to Gardevoir at this point is Slowking, and I don't want Slowking being a calm mindset, I don't want it doing anything funky, especially if I'm going for the Toxic Coke sweep, so I decided to actually go for Trick, throw off a Trick, as um, I'm pretty much predicting a Slowking right here, and if I Trick it, I pretty much lock it into either Scald, which I have a Toxic Coke to switch into, due to Dry Skin, uh, just be healing me, and Mandibuzz if he decides to go for Psy Shock. so right here I decided just to um, test the waters a little and figure out what attack his slow king want to go for so i decided to throw off a moon blast right now that's about 38 percent so it does exactly 38 percent so that's not too bad as he decides to go for a psy shock and um i do have healing wish on this gardevoir and i could have brought back maybe my abomason to be at more, more hp or even my Deblade to not be paralyzed, but I decided that it's just better to keep this Slow King low. He does have a Generator, but I wanted the free switch into my Obama Snow, which pretty much picks up a kill right now. So I go out to Obama Snow. I don't want him to randomly be faster than me because I gave him a Choice Scarf to get off Psy Shock damage, so I know at that range of HP, I can pick him off with the Ice Shard. Regardless of whatever came in, I outspeed Porygon, so Ice Shard into Blizzard would knock it out. Hydreigon would be too KO'd. Uh, with rocks and hail and Gyarados I wouldn't mind any damage on that at all so I actually catch a Sableye upon switching I am a little bit faster than his Sableye so I'm able to knock it out with the second Ice Shard as Gyarados is going to come out only thing Gyarados can do to kill me is uh, Body Slam what? <laughs> Bounce excuse me and that's a two turn move so I could switch out and uh, Stone Edge which isn't too common if not common at all in the U tier they typically run Waterfall if they run Bounce they have Bounce and then they have Earthquake for like uh, Empoleon and Toxicroak. So I go for Blizzard as he reveals that he does have bounce, and I decide, okay, it's not in my best interest to stay in. I don't want to lose my bomb snow, especially because I can Blizzard his Porygon, I can Woodhammer the um, Slowking. So I decide to go out to my Deblade on the uh, bounce, and um, what I actually am going to do right here is uh, go back out into my Mandibuzz because I don't want him DDing up right now. If he DDs up, I can knock him out with foul play. So I decided to go, out, blah, blah, I decided to go out to Mandibuzz as um, it works out for me right here because his slow king gets in. Now, I don't want to knock him off. I don't want to knock him off because one, he has that Porygon which can come in and two, I mean, knock off would be able to knock out his slow king, but I don't want Porygon coming in, which is the pretty much the main reason why I don't want to go for knock off and just give him that free switch. So I decided to double out into my uh, Toxic Croak right here because it was in my favor that he would go for Scald or switch out to Porygon anyway. Now, Sludge Wave with Fountain and Violet is like a low, 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 low roll, if not a roll at all. So I decided to go for another Focus Blast. Thankfully, I do connect as that Porygon is going to go straight down. Nice. So Gyarados is going to come out. I can knock him out with the Sludge Wave. I am faster because I am timid Toxic Croak. So Gyarados is going to go right down. Toxic Croak getting a little bit of revenge, as you can see right here, for the game we had before. As Slowking is going to come out. Now, I don't think that... I don't think that Sludge Wave actually knocks out Slowking at the percentages that. So what I decided to do is sack my Deblade uh, because he's pretty much forced to go for Psy Shock. He can't go for Scald. If he went for Scald, I went back out to the Blade and went for a Nasty Plot. But um, right here, my best play is just going for the Sacred Sword. It's preventing Hydreigon from coming out. It's not knocking out Slowking. Slowking can knock me out faster. However, after that Sacred Sword damage, he's 100% in range of Sludge Wave from my Toxicroak. So my play after that is to go out to Toxicroak and... Um, Pretty much finished him off with a sludge wave so i actually don't get paired at all i thought maybe he would try and go out to hydreigon on a para and try and roost up um as he's able to knock me out with that eye shock so what i can do is go right back out into my toxic croak and right here i'm just gonna fire off that sludge wave now he has the hydreigon ready and i figure okay my safest way of winning is just vacuum wave into ice shard and i win 100 percent to be honest on this turn right here i should have went for the uh, nasty plot i think vacuum wave was not necessarily a misplay uh, because if he attacked, then it was a fine play. But um, he's roosting, and he's playing it very calmly. He's going for roost, and I'm being a little bit of a wuss, I guess you could say, because I'm not going for the uh, <laughs> I'm not going for the nasty plot at any point. It actually seems he's bulkier Hydreigon. The only thing is, I don't want to go for nasty plot and then go for 
a sludge wave or something from there just because I'm really really paranoid even though I know he's bulky just based on the damage he's taking from vacuum wave I'm very uh, paranoid that he will be faster than my timid Toxicroak even if he is bulky because Akari is a person that praises plus speed natures. He's the person that always says, always jolly, always pursue a Mega Aerodactyl. He loves plus speed natures and um, I definitely didn't want to risk the game right at this point. I know that if I get him low enough with Vacuum Wave, I can pick him off a nice shard. So at this point, going to hit him with another Vacuum Wave right here. I actually get a crit. Now this crit is pretty bad for him and it also puts me in a nice position because um, basically after the next Life Orb hit, he could have potentially lived the hit from a bomb snow depending on rolls. It's really, it's rolls to knock him out. I need a high roll or a high mid roll or whatever like that. So I know that he has to roost right here. So I decided to go for the uh, nasty plot. And we do 100% find out that his top, his hydragon is faster than my toxic croak, like I was expecting. Now, um, again, I could go for the vacuum wave right here or I can go for sludge wave. I just don't, the reason I didn't go for sludge wave is because if he attacks me, I lose toxic croak. And then Obama Snow um, can't pick him off with Ice Shard and he wins the game. 100% wins the game. I'm thinking at this point he has Fire Blast, which is why um, which is why I kept vacuum waving with my Toxico. Because if I forced him to Draco, then I could win with uh, Manda Buzz. But I think he has Fire Blast, which is why I went for the vacuum wave right there. So get him with that uh, plus two vacuum wave right there as he does play it calmly once again and roost up. Now, it all depends on rolls and when he attacks me. If I get a decent roll and he attacks me, he dies to life more plus hail. So Obama Snow is the play. I could have definitely went for Blizzard right here, but again, it's still... I don't like playing 50-50s versus good players, even if I consider my... or even if people consider me to be a decent player. And um, right here, basically, if I got the exact same roll as last time, if I got 41, and then he took Hail, he took Life Orb, he lived the hit on like 2%. Maybe Showdown would have killed him though, because Showdown is crazy. He lived the hit on like 2%. Now, if I got a higher roll and he attacked me, um, then he died to Life Orb plus Hail, unless he roosts. I don't know if he roosts. He was actually running low on, uh, low on roost, excuse me. So, Mana Buzz could have potentially... Well, it really depended what he did right here. If he went for roost, then... Um, it would come down to, again, higher rolls or me clicking Blizzard, but I ended up getting a crit with my Bomb Snow, and I guess that's just karma for the last game, uh, because a Bomb Snow was able to come through, Toxico came through, and I hope you guys all enjoyed, I ended up, uh, beating Hikari in the semifinals, the Wolfpack is now 3-5, I actually think we're 3-6, so... It's it's not looking too good for us, but I am confident that we can bring it to a tiebreaker and potentially uh, win in the tiebreaker. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. Definitely a good match versus Akari. Uh, definitely some nice justice for the before match. The ha match we had before where I couldn't hit anything, where I couldn't get off any attack because he thunder waved me. So, I'm glad this wasn't a repeat of that. Like I said, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.